Uh, Socrates, the real Socrates, says, I've been playing around with interpreter dev lately. Do you think my approach can be just jump into it where I error correct my way through it? I want to be a, I want to build a Lua interpreter. So like jumping through a parser combinator lib like Python parsey or a more theoretical approach. Okay, so I've looked at the, I've looked at the Lua specification. Uh, I think I had a conversation on the Discord about someone who was using, uh, where is it? Uh, parser combinator. Yeah, uh, th this guy was making a this guy's making a programming language uh, and he's using a parser combinator. So I'm lo I, so I looked at the uh, as 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 far as I can remember from the Lua specification because I just read things when I get bored. Um, it's a very simple it's a very simple language that can be parsed with little to no ambiguity, as, except for when uh, when it goes line by line and there's like a there's like an, uh, a braced expression at the side of a new line. Um, that's something minor. Um, so. Do you think my approach can be a just jump into it where I error correct my way through it? Jumping through, jumping into a parser and combinator library. Uh, I think, I think you just, um, you can go with a parser combinator. At the end of the day, if you just want to learn how to do interpretation, you don't have to care about the lexing or the parsing. So if you just want to jump straight into that and learn about interpretation and everything and all these intermediate representations, just, just use a parser combinator, use a library. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a library to parse Lua already. I'm pretty sure there's a library to parse Lua already out on the internet. Uh, on Python, someone's already, someone's already done it. You want to skip straight to that, you can use them. Uh, but if I was writing, if I was writing like a Lua interpreter on my own, I'd do my own parser. I wouldn't use a library for uh, things because I because I want to I want to insert special logic when I'm parsing things and not uh, do it a certain way. Now it's good that you bring up Lua because I tried to make a Lua clone a long time ago. Uh, this is a long time ago. Good thing you asked, because uh, right now I'm just going through my, all my old V projects. Where is it? Uh, Vua. Oh man, what a dumb name. What a dumb name. Uh, Vua. Uh, internals. Yeah, so it, uh, it's a single, it's so it's a single pass parser. Uh, Lua, it, it's like a derivative of Lua. Lua is a language that, um, isn't very ambiguous. Uh, it doesn't need to resolve anything. All it is is straight in the bytecode. So what you can do is run a single pass compiler. So go to go to uh, uh, like statement. You parse right line next. Parse more statements recursively, and all you have to do is just push into a stack of values, and then you can push off the values. So let's say you want to parse the plus operator. Parse one side and the other side. You put them on a stack. You pop those two things off the stack, and then you have two values and you can emit them into the bytecode representation. What I'm explaining right now is very simplified. Uh, what This is what TCC does in their code generator. That's what I'm doing in this Vua thingy, and that's what I'm going to do in the new compiler of this language. Uh, Socrates says, I did not think about skipping certain aspects of it. Yeah, at the end of the day, it, it's, uh, it's your choice. It's your choice. Um, uh, yeah, Lua, Lua is not an ambiguous language. You do not need to know anything statically. Uh, you can just go top to bottom, pass the whole thing into bytecode and run it. Uh, because Lua has the specific table operations and like you can access the globals and everything. Uh, you know, it's a nice project that they did. Uh, it's a pretty nice project. I had, like had opcodes and everything uh, into constant pools. And then uh, in the... Uh, yeah, there's like encoding and reading. And then now oh, disassembly as well. And then execution was all of this. Uh, and I think what I also did was parsing uh, here, parsing, uh, uh, what tokens are these? Short circuit, sh uh, short, short circuiting. Uh, The sh the short circuit operators are the um the and 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 then in the the and 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 the the pipe pipe, uh those actually have special control flows. So I so I do this here. I do conditional jump, and uh, all of these things. Anyway, go parse top to bottom into bytecode, and uh, you don't need to do anything special, because uh, Lua is a very simple language. Uh, System B four says, are you going to fast stem? 
Uh, I've heard of FOSTEM. Uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, I don't know what the acronym means. Uh, in Brussels, free and open source software developers Euro uh, European meeting. Uh, I'm in I'm in Australia. I don't live in the in Europe. Not many things go on in Australia. It's actually uh pretty empty. Uh, I'll check Vua out. Thank you. Uh, it's 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 such a such an old code base, but I'll paste it right here for you. <laughs> 